speak up and stand by the communities who need it. At one o'clock this afternoon, students walked out of class at more than 100 schools across the state. <laughs> gathering outside Highland Park Senior High in St. Paul. And even coming together outside U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Hey! The goal, protest racial injustice and remember the lives lost due to police violence. It's now 147, so you can go ahead and take a seat if you'd like to, close your eyes if you'd like to. But we're just going to take a moment of silence in honor of Dante Wright. Take this minute to think about how Dante felt in that moment that he was shot and drove and called his mother. It was a large show of unity that started with a small group of student activists. What is this walkout about? This walkout is about making a statement to not only the school districts who do little to nothing about racism, but also to greater Minnesota. Jerome Treadwell is president of the NAACP Youth Division in St. Paul and one of the founding members of the Minnesota Teen Activists Instagram page that inspired the walkouts. We're showing the schools that our lives matter more than education right now. I'm going to say it again. We're showing the schools that our lives matter more than education right now. Action speaks louder than words, as we know. So we're able to walk out of class, not to defy um, what the school policy is, not to defy um, gaining education, but to make a statement in our best way as youth um, to ask and demand for justice and peace for, for everyone. Minnesota teen activists first began sharing that message last May, just days before the death of George Floyd. We were first sparked by racism going on in some of the schools, actually, uh, at Champlain Park in Fridley. We started off with, you know, 10 followers, 600 followers, and it expanded as we were kind of tripling into the murder of Mr. George Floyd. And in the days that followed, the group began to both speak out and help out. We raised over $80,000 to give to businesses on Lake Street who were uh, harmed by some of the looting and the rioting. Um, and now we're doing a, a GoFundMe for Brooklyn Center. That effort has already raised nearly $17,000. And though he's thrilled with that financial support, Jerome is more impressed by the solidarity he witnessed today and the buy-in from students of all colors. This is to say that you must take the step to really support those in your school community who need it. Let this walkout be the first step to you finding your voice. Shake the table, cause trouble, challenge yourself, continue to do better, to stand up and show out. Thank you. How does that make you feel to have support, not just in the Twin Cities area, but greater Minnesota as well? It's super inspiring, right? We're all juniors and sophomores in high school, right? So to be able to cultivate a change in something that will actually like benefit not just your local area, but all of Minnesota, like from having white allies to African-Americans, to teachers supporting, to parents supporting, it definitely tells all of us that that this indeed is relevant, that indeed we are in a time where people are desperate for change, uh, where people are recognizing that there is something wrong, right? That there is a problem and we need it to be the solution.